Have you ever noticed that everyone has a unique way of organizing clothes in their closet? Some people group all of their short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, jeans, dress pants, and shoes together by color, while others group their clothes by spring, summer, winter, and fall. There is no right or wrong way with how they organize their closet. But how do they organize and quickly identify clothes in a closet that is full of many different types of tops, bottoms, and more? Stay tuned to discover the answers in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Travis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explain and demonstrate how to use dichotomous keys to identify living and non-living objects. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to explain and demonstrate how to use dichotomous keys to identify living and non-living objects. A dichotomous key is a tool that can be used to identify organisms or objects in the natural world such as plants, animals, or rocks. The key consists of a series of pair statements or clues about features or characteristics providing a stepwise guide towards identifying each entity. As you go from step one to the next, the clue is gradually narrow down the list of possible things until they are all identified. Dichotomous keys are useful for biological or living classification as well as identification. The word dichotomous is derived from the Greek words meaning two parts. Each step in the key provides two contrasting choices about a characteristic. Each alternative choice then leads to another pair of clues and then another until the items are identified. A group of leaves, for example, might first be separated on the basis of vein patterns. Each group could then be further subdivided on the basis of other traits such as shape and stem arrangement. The number of steps in the key depends on how many entities are being identified. There is generally one less step than the total number of entities to be identified. Thus, a key used to identify four unknown entities would have three steps, whereas identifying eight entities would require seven pairs of clues. The clues may be presented as questions or statements. Look at the following pair of clues as an example of a simple dichotomous key that might be used to identify different types of beings. Note that each set of clues concerns a single feature. The first clue concerns shape, with the next clue addressing color, dark in color or not dark, color or amount of white, and finally, specific colors with solid, speckled, only white, or white with a spot. Let's do this first dichotomous key together. Let's identify the following type of bean. The bean is not round in shape, so we go to step two. The bean is dark in color, so we go to step four. Finally, the bean is dark red, which makes it a kidney bean. Now let's practice with some more dichotomous keys. The most important elements of a good key are that each set of clues offer two contrasting choices and that the clues gradually narrow down the list of possible objects or organisms so that identification is possible. The following key could be used to identify four familiar insects. For example, the description that could be used to describe a ladybug would be that its wings are covered by an exoskeleton and that it has a round shape. Quick check for understanding. Use the dichotomous key to identify an insect that has wings that are not covered by an exoskeleton and the wings point outward from the body. Start from the beginning. Take one minute to analyze the key and write your answer. We know you got this. Now let's practice with one last dichotomous key. Dichotomous keys can be used to identify non-living things as well as living things. Such keys are helpful in identifying rocks and minerals. Quick check for understanding. Use the following dichotomous key to identify the specific type of rock. Take one minute to analyze the key and write your answer. Let's get it. In summary, a dichotomous key is an important scientific tool used to identify different organisms based on the organism's observable traits. Dichotomous keys consist of a series of statements with two choices in each step that lead users to the correct identification. Back to our original question. How could someone organize and quickly identify the clothes that they need to wear on a specific day? The answer is simple. They could put together a simple dichotomous key for their closet to organize and easily identify clothes to pick out to wear for that day. Is it hot or cold? Do you want to dress business-like or casual? You get the rest. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are 
with explaining and demonstrating how to use the Academy's keys to identify living and non-living objects by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are hired for proficiency. Record your results on your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more for our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.